So we've just finished off the last inventory for 31 crafting so that we can do the Lost City quest. We're currently four, uh, 584 XP away, which will easily be done by this inventory. I haven't had that much time this week to train, because I've been up in Auckland. But now that I'm back, I'll be able to at least finish this quest and get a couple of other things done in this episode. We'll also go through the, the uh, items that I think are best in slot for me, both at low game, uh, sorry, low game, middle, and then end game. Um, and I'll just talk through what kind of items I think I should aim for uh, in the first little bit. So we're just going to quickly get 31 crafting, and then we're actually going to get into the quest. Any second now. So this didn't take too long, probably three hours, mainly because I was watching TV while doing it. Um, I've also started collecting runes so that I'll be able to uh, kill that Ent, uh, no, the Tree Spirit, sorry, on Entrana, because I won't be able to bring any items. Cool, so there we go. Can now make Emerald Amulets, who cares? So I thought I'd quickly run through the gear options that I have and what little milestones I have set for myself. I think it's quite obvious that the mid and the late game armors probably should be swapped, but if we're going for pure defensive bonuses, then the dragon does outclass the obsidian. Um, but obviously I will be using obsidian late game because of the strength bonuses it has. And I'll just be able to pray or flick so it's not a big deal. Um, but anyway, if we start in the early game, we can see uh, the helm. We've got a neat helm, the amulet of power, fighter tour, so just the normal basic stuff. For boots, I don't have many options because, like, you know, rune and dragon boots, obviously, later game. So I need to get Slayer to get there. And then, oh, you know, it's I've just pushed them all the way back. And just steel is going to be my probably my best boot for a long time. Um, Dragon Longsword is also going to be my long, uh, my best weapon for a while because I can't get the D skimmy because I have to get to the Gnome Stronghold. You know, everything's blocked off. So basically this is as far as I can get for early game. Mid game, um, the Leaf Bladed Sword. I'm assuming I can get Slayer up at a decent pace, but that really depends on my masters being good to me. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, the Granite Boots, I'm not too sure. I'm assuming I can do that, and then the the Dragonstone Jewelry, I'm just going to have to get the Crystal uh, Keys and get a bit lucky on that. Everything else should be reasonably easy to get. And then if we move into the late game, uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of PVMing that's going to have to happen to get there. The DFS, I'll have to get, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go to Wyverns, uh, Skeletal Ones. And then I've got to do DKs to get the Zerka Ring, and then the Dragon Full Helm I think is going to be the hardest one, because I'm going to have to kill uh, Myth Dragons and get the Chewed Bones, which will be a bit bit grindy. And then I'm also, once again, assuming that Slayer won't be too difficult, and then I can get that Abbey Whip um, at 85 Slayer, but yeah, that's probably going to be one of the harder ones to get. So yeah, I'll probably have another look at my weapon options, because the Leaf Bladed Sword isn't uh, that appealing to me. So I might go with the Obby Sword. I think that's not too bad. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing research. But at the moment, this is the, the kind of goals I have for gear. Uh, but I'm really only focusing, obviously, on the early game just because everything else is so far down the line that I'm not going to think about it too much at the moment. Alright, let's get this going. Cool, and it's started now. We just going to go chop this tree, I believe. Oh, there he is, little Seamus. Cool, so now I need to go to Entrana. Uh, I'm going to go buy a lot of runes so that I can fight uh, the the uh, zombies to get an axe, and then to kill the dreaming tree spirit. Uh, I'm probably going to buy way too many runes, because I'm only 20 mage, so I probably won't be hitting that much. Um, and I believe I can suicide quite close, and if not, I'll just go to Edgeville and suicide there, because it won't take me that long to get back. 
Oh, there's some there's nettles there, so I'll probably just do it there. Um, because it'll be a nice easy spot to pick it up. Cool, so I've just suicided and picked up my stuff. I have around 500 uh, fire strike casts. That should be enough, I hope, to get the uh, axe and also kill the tree spirit. Um, I'll see you guys at least at the tree spirit. I'll probably just do the axe off, off video. So it took us about 10 kills to get the axe. And took, you know, roughly 90, 92 casts exactly. So now we just got to get through, chop down this tree and kill that stupid tree spirit. Alrighty. Pretty sure there's a safe spot here. We'll see. Is it going to fight me? Oh, I went the wrong way. Alright, we'll go here. Alright, now we're good. So now it just takes a bit of time. Cool, that should be it. Awesome. She's gone. And now we can chop this stupid tree. And I'll cut a few, but I don't think it matters. And now I'm going to home port out of here. Then we just need to get a uh, a knife, which is in the Lumbridge Castle. And then I think we're done. It's just that easy. Such a simple quest. I remember as a kid, I used to think it was very difficult to do this one. But now you can see it's so easy, it doesn't even matter. Where is that knife? There we go. Ooh, almost didn't have it. <laughs> oh, I really need to get a higher agility level. This is, uh, run regeneration is absolutely killing me. So slow. 11 minutes to get 100%. That's bullshit. Come on. Cool. There we go. Quest done, nice and easy, 30 combat. Alright, so now I want to do the Knight Sword quest. Uh, and then I'll probably just train a little bit, a couple of my stats up, so that I can do some other quests with a bit more ease. And I was just messing around, completely forgot that I had left all my items on the ground. Good thing I didn't log off for the day. I'm just going to go pick those up <laughs> before they despawn, because that would be quite a waste. I mean, I spent most of my money on runes, which actually I'll probably go and use them now, just to get them out of my inventory. But that miskim is basically the rest of my bank after that, so that would be <laughs> very frustrating to have to start again. I mean, it's not that much, but it's just really boring right from the start, trying to get that uh, starter cash. So it should still be there, because I'm pretty sure it's around for an hour, and it's only been like 10 minutes that it's been there. Seriously, this agility is really going to do my head in. Probably going to get like 30 minimum just to get it out of the way, just because it's f so annoying. It's constantly empty, and I don't have stamina or anything like that, because, well, you know, that's not going to happen. This is such a fun game mode. I think everyone should make a Ultimate Iron Man account. It's super experience. So much fun. There's only a little bit of sarcasm there. It's actually pretty fun. It's weird not playing with things. This is my first one. I'm just, I, you know, the whole game mode's really different. You have to, you know, plan ahead and it's not really something I'm good at. So I thought I'd use all my runes at uh, Fire Giants to see if I'd be lucky enough to get a rune skimmy. I stupidly spent a bit more money trying to get runes and spent all of my money so I couldn't get into the Brimhaven dungeon. So I just AFK'd a bit of fletching. Uh, so that I could now afford to get some food and to get into that dungeon. So I'm just going to head there now. We're going to use up the runes just to see if we can get lucky. Uh, if I do, I'll just get 40 attack quickly so I can wear it. If I don't, uh, then we're going to just continue and get that 10 mining and uh, do the Night Sword quest. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, I don't really want to keep that on me, but I might actually keep it for a while. Because I'm pretty sure the, um, where is it? I'm pretty sure that chest will be in sight. Yeah, because I have this little lake, and it's just up there. 
So, I mean, I hope I get the tooth half pretty quickly, but realistically, <laughs> probably just sit in my inventory, so I might just drop it, but uh, we'll see what happens. So it looks like this will be the last kill we can get. We probably won't even get it. Eh, Ten more casts? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, but what we did do is we managed to get from 23 to 31 magic. And then what were we for HP? Well, we got one prayer level. Uh, then we went from 27 to 29 HP, which actually got us 400 total. It's a nice little milestone to knock off. Um, I'm going to try and probably flinch and kill this fire giant. And then we'll um, head back to mining because we didn't get a rune skimmy. It's unfortunate. Yeah, this is going to take a while <laughs> of 20 attack. Hmm. Alright, it took me longer to realise, but I actually could just do um, airstrike, which is really weak, obviously, but it means I don't have to flinch, which is really boring and slow. So this will just finish us up, and then we'll be able to get out of here finally. Not that it took long, just 20 minutes, just a bit of AFK, and just more coins, nothing good. That's alright, we've got a miss square out of it, got a Rena, which I can't use at all, um, got the random event, the herb guy Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll, and then the loop half obviously, which for now I'll keep, but probably will drop it in the future. Um, I definitely can't get another kill with 42 win strikes, so... Let's just get out of here. Yeah. Cool, so we're just going to start mining. But I thought I'd rather do Dorix quest than do actual mining. Because why not finish quests? And these early levels are really slow. So I'm going to go and kill some thugs. I believe that's who uh, the ones that are down here. Because they also drop iron bars, which I need for the quest. So I might as well get the iron bars. They also drop iron ore, which I'll need for Dorix quest. Um, and they also give looting bags, which will be good because i don't actually have many inventory space issues now but i mean i want a looting bag anyway so i might as well just go get it now get that out of the way and save like one or two spaces not that that's a big deal but i guess it adds up over the long term so yeah i'll just kill a, a few of these and check in once we have all the um items that i need i forgot to mention so I, i've been doing a bit of fletching just while afking and doing other stuff in real life and i got a medium clue which i actually can do i believe it's um a coordinates in field up hills um so i'm going to try and do that uh and like i'll check in with that one once uh, i've done the night uh, night sword quest uh so for now i'll just sit there but yeah i just got that while wood cutting if you were wondering Alright, so we've got all the items we need now. I've got the two iron bars for the Knight Sword quest. I've got two iron ore for Dorix quest. Um, and then I also... Well, I got the looting bag, obviously. Then I got a, a coal and an iron bar for... Uh, I believe it's the Giant Dwarf quest, which I want to do. Uh, yeah, the Giant Dwarf quest, which I want to do afterwards, just for a bit of XP, because it gives... Um, some more mining and smithing XP, which I just can't be bothered doing because I don't like those skills. Uh, I also got a Rena, which will will um eventually be able to make it into a prayer pot, and I've put the loop half in there just so it's not taking up space. Um, I did get some Gorms, which I'll get some I have Newts, and then when I'm in Tavoli, or going through Tavoli to do Dorix quest, I'll uh, make these into potions. And then hopefully get my first, yeah, I will definitely get my first uh, Herb Lord level, which will be cool. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I'll just go do Dorix quest now, quickly knock out uh, the Knight's Sword, and then we'll get to this medium clue, and that'll probably be the end of this episode. Cool, that's Dorix quest done, 12 mining, and now I can get... So while we're walking past, I'm going to quickly start the Night Sword quest. And then I want to go get the red berry pies. So I'm going to try and make a few of them. Um, and you can buy the red berries from uh, Port Serum. There's a guy that sells them. So I'll probably make four just to be safe. I mean, I'm high cooking, but 
you never know. I don't want to have to remake them. So we'll start that, and then I'll see you guys when I um, have finished the quest. So basically what happened is I forgot that I need to go and see Raldo in the Varrock library. Uh, when I was skim reading the quest guide, I completely overskipped that step. And <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd be able to do the quest, um, the Knight's Sword. But no, I'm not going to be able to, which is going to piss me off because now it's going to be yellow in my quest list. Um, turns out you also need to go see Raldo for uh, the Giant Dwarf, so I can't do that quest either. So basically everything I wanted to do uh, isn't really possible <laughs> for this account. So um, I'm going to skip that, uh, and now I'm going to do a bit more research when I actually figure out what quests I'm going to do. I'm going to watch... A uh, proper YouTube guide and see exactly where the people go so I can tell if I can actually do that quest or not um, So now I'm going to just skip onto this uh, medium clue that I've got and <laughs> Yeah, be hopefully a bit more prepared in the future. Sorry about that guys So I didn't actually have any live audio for the clue scroll because my fiance was watching TV at the time and it just absolutely ruined everything uh, fortunately this was just a three step clue and they were all within the um, current area that I was second one was in Yano, just needed to uh, search the chest and then the uh, final clue step was uh, on the little fishing platform for the sea slug quest um, I was very lucky that I didn't have to actually complete anything to get here I just needed to start this quest which I already I mean, there were no requirements for, so that was nice and easy. Um, yes, yeah, so that was very lucky, I think, that I didn't have to do anything to finish this clue. Um, so we're just heading off to Lumbridge to open the first medium clue on this account, right where we began it. Um, yeah, I'd just like to apologise again for the whole Knight Sword uh, screw up, but yeah, let's have a look at this loot. Um, Unfortunately, as you'll see, it is not very good. So, yep. Yeah. Hopefully next time it'll get better. 